This is only to not jump the gun, only wait until the dog gets to this. Manamana. Manamana. Okay, so I have to go through a few ground rules, okay guys? You all know what this is about, but just bear with me, it's part of the content program. Okay, uh, please set all phones to silent, pleasant mode, or Pokemon wants to go home mode. Please set that up now. If you have not called your family or ready to let them know where you are at this very moment, use the phone now. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like when a parent comes in with two swords like, where have you been? <laughs> yes, I'm talking from personal experience. <laughs> my God, I never knew my mother had kids use that pink. <laughs> Slices, dices, and to the Okay. No flash photography. Okay? We have lots of costumes and we don't want to fly, we don't want to fall down into down because I want to have to go back and get his medical kit. I've only played one on TV, okay? No flash photography. However, video is fine. Filming is fine. If you bring out the 400 watt clean, we will kill you. Okay, so uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's all Hector's fault.
so, how many people remember seeing the TV show Heroes? How yeah. remember the first season where Hiro Nakamura has to turn himself back in time and space? Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi! Phenomena! 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 Like to share with us? Oh, sure. The man behind the iron mask. Why am I here? They're better than I than I am. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, we have a slight technical difficulty. This is what I understand.
the novice division. Articuno. From the depths of Seawall, I'm the member of the almighty ice flying legendary Pokemon, Articuno.
entry number nine in the novice division. Go to room 999. 
Well, over at the Regency Tower. I hope to see you all there. I, and for the rest of you guys, well, I'm sorry. I, I don't see you that way. Oh, well, good night, you lovely ladies. Entry number 12 in the open division, Team Ramrod.
your 15 entries for the masquerade here. We will now take a moment to sequester. And speaking of sequester, sequestering our uh, wonderful judges. And there, first of all, a big round of applause for all of our contestants tonight. <laughs>
The ladies will be back for another uh, part of their show. They're going to go off and change, so please take it. By the way, I want to thank you all for being here. It's been a wonderful, it's been fantastic. I love all you guys. It's wonderful to be here in sunny southern uh, San Diego in California. I think you're having a good time. So, uh, the funny thing is, uh, now it's the point where they ask me to stall so the girls can go change. What's my favorite colors? White and red at the moment. So what? Do the dance? No, I don't want to do the dance. You want to see? Look, the last thing I was able to do was break dancing, and I broke everything in the room. Including my leg and one rib. Matt, you know about the broken ribs. Yeah, go figure that out. So I have to tell you the funny thing. Unfortunately, I have to warn you. When we mentioned the whole sequester thing with the, with the uh, judges, I have to let you know, here's the scary part. There have been a lot of like, jury you know, requests in the jury. Now, think about this for a minute. They called me in for jury duty about two weeks ago. For those of you who are friends of mine on Facebook and otherwise, you'll notice there were like a whole week where you didn't see me post a single thing. I go into the downtown county courthouse in Los Angeles. It's true, whatever you see on Dragnet and those black and white TVs is like, wow. They actually have a cafeteria that's from Adam 12, for those of you who know that. For those of you who don't, look it up on YouTube. Trust me, it is remarkably weird. But going in there, first of all, is that you go in through this whole security system. I can't go through security. I don't know what it is. In Japan, I go through the machine. Beep! Okay, can I have my change first? I go through the machine. Beep! Okay, it must be the belt button. I take off the belt button. Beep! Okay, I'm taking out the change, all the yen I have to. Beep! And I'm going, what in the world is going on? My father's a priest, and he's actually wearing his priestly robes at that point, which embarrasses mom to no end. And basically, oh, he's the metal plate in his head. <laughs> the Japanese police actually believed him and let me through. <laughs> My family is now convinced not only am I a hard head, you finish the rest of the sentence. I'm not going to do it. Like, hello, this is the new meaning for Hawaiian for katonk. For those who speak Hawaiian, Hawaiian katonk is the sound of the mainlander Japanese. It's also the same sound you make out of hollow coconut. Anyway, so I go into, and they say, they put me in the jury thing. And the first thing they say is, okay. I want you to tell us uh, when you've been involved in this, what your occupation is. They get up to me, I'm number 19, and I go, Hi, I'm an actor, I'm a producer, I'm also a comedian. You'd think when I said comedian would be the first thing that would put off any lawyer whatsoever. Because they know whatever's going to happen in that room is going to end up in my comedy routine. Here's the comedy routine. No, I, and here's the funny part. They actually chose me, much to the surprise of everyone in the room. I mean, the judge was literally going, at the, at, when he's announcing, we're the choosing the jury. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you get picked, we uh, appreciate your service. If you don't get picked, we also appreciate it. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. But please refrain from yelling yippee outside in the hall. <laughs> yes, he was looking directly at me, <laughs> along with everyone else in the room, including the lawyers. <laughs> And yet, I ended up on a jury. To which they had to tell me, A, this is the part of the jury. Have anyone taken jury service yet? Anyone taken jury service? Okay, you guys can testify to this. They usually tell you, you cannot talk to people you know who are lawyers. I work in Hollywood, unfortunately, this morning. You cannot tell people you are on a jury. If you've already said to people you're on a jury, you can let them know that you're on a jury and you can't talk about it. Then they pull out the new sheet. Oh, you can't read any media, you can't watch any TV, you can't listen to the radio, you can't go on the internet, you can't research anything. I'm a researcher and video. You can't research anything. If you happen to go past the first place in question, you cannot go and ignore it. You have to go and ignore it. And I've been watching way too much Matt Locke Detective Series in my life. I'm like, ooh, there's the Matt Locke. I can't go. And the worst thing, he pulled out a brand new sheet because all the other sheets were all yellow. No, and he had the card down. No twittering. No LJ no my spacing, no uh, Facebooking, etc. And again, he looked at me, and you could see him going, I'm an actor, I've got to tell people, no! I had to keep quiet for three whole days. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me very well, to now I'm keeping quiet for three whole days. <laughs> it's like Naruto not changing into a girl every five seconds on the show. <laughs> 
Needless to say, yes, I know, but I don't know if I to agree with me. And the worst part of it, okay, and the worst part about all this is that when they finally put this in and we had to talk, you know, we said, you're now done. You can go ahead and Twitter and live journal anything you want to. And I was quiet for like 20 minutes. Then I went to a friend's birthday party. <laughs> I don't think they've forgiven me yet because I think I've talked, talked non-stop for three hours, 25 minutes, and 38 seconds before the restaurant blew me out. It was a 24-hour restaurant. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, the second half of our wonderful half. Did I have The other half, yes. Hey, uh, Manawa. Yeah.
So ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our lovely main cafe. Jury. Uh, no, seriously, 
you have to understand, this was the most bizarre jury system I've ever seen. It was a civil case, so there was no crime involved, because otherwise I'd be arrested. And of course, because you can't do and say anything at all in protect in pretty good. So here's the funny thing, is that, first of all, one of the lawyers was this huge guy who looks like Idi Amin, with a very hairy Jamaican accent, don't you know? All right, that sounds more like Irish to me. But anyway, this Jamaican accent guy, he's going, and this other guy looks like from the movie Revenge of the Nerds. His head is the shape of a light bulb, with no shoulders, no chin, big bushy eyebrows, and a hair like William Shatner's. I don't know how else to explain it, but that's where we're at. And the worst part was it, it was one of those really weird moments for me because they have, the, they have this whole thing where they're trying to communicate. One of the main witnesses only speaks Spanish, so they had to get a court, inter court interpreter. And the problem is, is the guy with the Jamaican accent now has to speak to the guy who sort of looks like me and a few other people put together in, in English, who now has to translate to Spanish, who has to give it to the woman. The woman has to then turn around and say this back, and it has to be translated to the Spanish guy, and now has to keep going back to the Jamaican guy who's trying to understand what the Spanish guy would say, the translator. The problem is, for a woman who doesn't apparently understand English, she actually beat the Spanish translator to the punch, understanding the guy with a heavy Jamaican accent. And with that public note, we'd like to bring out back the second half of our <laughs> the second half of our entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back.
round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so anyway, I'm his uncle, and at some point, 
to get ahead, it's in, in Sacramento, and it's very busy. You know, you like lunch. Everyone loves lunch. Everyone loves sushi lunches. So, so we're all in the back before the restaurant opens, and we're all cutting sushi. There's this technique, you know, it's a cut flip, and there's a little bowl, little fish. We get this huge piece of fish. So we're cutting, flipping, cutting, flipping, as we send this off to the sushi guys, and they make the sushi, and they put it in the box, and people literally come in to pick up their orders. I mean, it's the state capital. And you know the street before, you know, Arnold was there, because Arnold orders the weird sushi in the world. Um, I mean, sushi with sauerkraut? Yeah. Anyway, so we get to this kind of thing. Now, I get this small space. Now, for those of you who don't understand actors, there's one true myth about actors. We're not morning people. Anything before 2 o'clock is, Ah, the light depends us! I actually answer the phone from a friend who called me at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's like, Ah, now are you still awake? They've called me for three weeks and started calling me at 3 o'clock a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Smart man. Anyway. I'll get you next time, get you. Next time, we're back. And yes, actually, I was killed on Inspector Gadget. No, I actually wasn't killed on Inspector Gadget. I was killed on Godzilla. Oh, never mind. We'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, I'm cutting sushi ahead of time. And one of the guys, I'm near the door. I've got this small screen. And then, you know, the cut, 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 And then, you know, people come in and change out the dish and all that. And one of the guys said, now, can I change? i got to go take my kid to the hospital. Dad is fine. Okay, fine, whatever. And I switch places with him. I don't even know where I am in the kitchen. And we're cut, flip, cut, flip, cut, flip. And it's very really on cut, flip. And it's, we can hear it. And also, we're going along about 10 minutes about Who's cooking something? I don't know. We're all cooking sushi. There shouldn't be anything coming. Okay, what's well, no problem? Cut, cut, cut. Okay, now it's going small. What's going on? I have no idea. And I cut, 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 cut. To now, I said, what? Apparently, I've been cutting a whole tuna, and the dish was completely empty for the last 20 minutes. There should have been like 50 pieces of sushi. I had missed the dish entirely and hit the hot teriyaki grill. <laughs> Two and a half feet away, I burnt an entire side of tuna. I convinced my uncle, since I was from the South, it was black and Cajun sushi. <laughs> my aunt doesn't believe a word I said. So anyway, flash forward to about two weeks later, same guy decides he's going to have to do this again. Except this time, my family and the restaurant was smart. They put me in the middle of the room with that big chopping board. I am nowhere near that teriyaki grill over there. Now, as you know, we go through fast and furious, and the guys have to hot wash the dishes. They're long dishes, short dishes, round dishes. They have to hot wash it. Okay, whatever it is. And at this time, okay, I'm a little less asleep. Not by much. And it's very rhythmic when you hear the... You know, it's like like listening to ping pong machines or something, or, or pachinko machines. You know? And all of a sudden, I go to the, to the, and all of a sudden, all I hear is and it's only me. Everyone in the room is staring at me, and I'm going, "What?" And they say, "Get now I look and I look down. I hit the end of a very long dish, which was very freshly hot washed. It was wet. I see a piece of sushi go in one end of the soup, the thing go out the other end, fly two and a half feet, and land in the tempura fryer. Again, the whole side of tuna. I'm not sure what was more insane in that room, people saying flying fish or frying fish. Yes, they're all Japanese, except for the big blonde guy. And like, frying fish, frying fish, what are you And I turn to these guys, because this has been happening for five minutes. Fish flying from one end all the way to the other, two and a half feet. And I turn to them and I'm going, tell me, someone videotape this. <laughs> all 15 went, <laughs> what kind of Japanese people are you? <laughs> we could have won millions of dollars on TV. <laughs> Instead, we had to have a new dish called fried tempura flying fish. <laughs> and I've never been allowed in the kitchen since. Go figure. Uh, how many have you seen of Heroes? Television show, Heroes, any chance? How many people remember first season Heroes? The one that still costs 54 bucks over in fries. Anyway, everything else is 20 bucks for that. Okay, so how many people remember episode two-ish? Hero Nakamura teleports himself from Japan to New York, finds a dead body of the actor, or a body of the um, 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 uh, artist, you know, artist, and then they find out, uh, they, they arrest him, they can't understand a word he says, so they have to bring in the Japanese translating police detective. I don't speak Japanese. 
that entire thing, I'm speaking Japanese. For those of you who want to go back and watch it, I called my parents the night before. I had a horrendous audition, by the way. It was the one day where I'm learning the lines, I find out like 20 minutes before midnight, I'm gonna do this thing, they keep changing the time, I'm trying to change clothes, and my apartment complex garage is broken. At nine o'clock in the morning, when I have to be there at 10, I have some guy holding, going, everything that you could imagine going wrong, meteors falling from the sky, <laughs> oil slicks, boulders falling out from buildings in downtown Burbank, all the way to Godzilla attacks at that point. It was happening to me by the time I get to this thing, and I do this whole thing, and I managed to convince everyone I can speak Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. If you go back and look at the video, you'll notice I have a little notebook in my hand. You'll also notice that notebook never leaves my hand for the life or death of anything. I phonetically spell everything in here. Now the reason why I bring this up is because uh, Japan, at the time, likes to just buy TVs. They don't really like to watch TV. And, they, for, and one of my cousins, my mom's side of the cousin, found some new show. One of them was called Heroes. They didn't know I was in the show. They're playing episode two one night, and it's family night. Now, family life in my world is like, you know, five, eight people on a couch. In Japan, it's like 28 people from all the families sitting down on one couch or the floor and trying to share popcorn, which is still an alien thing to them. They don't understand popcorn. And also, anyway, anyway, so the funny thing is all this, is that of the things that could happen, A, everything in translated, subtitled, in Japanese, except my scene. <laughs> And the first thing out of my religious mouth is going, hey, 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 the big guy, the Asian Japanese one in the back, he looks familiar. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't think I, no, 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 wait. I think that is your, your wife, your, your, your sister's husband's son. Wait, wait, I think that's the doll. Holy cow, I think that's one of us. <laughs> my parents got a call at three o'clock in the morning at this discovery. Oh, Tomo-san, we just saw heroes. Your son is on TV. My dad is telling me this. I said, okay, when your family does this, here's what I want you to reply. So, oh, Tomo-san, your son is on TV. Oh, uh, Teddy didn't get old. He is too heavy. <laughs> More stories are going to come. But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring on our wonderful Rebecca and Maria and Lisa, because we have now a decision. We have winners, ladies and gentlemen. up on stage. Am I asking or are you announcing? Yes, so ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we're back to the room.
board. Um, I thought they had very cute staging. It was simple and very effective. I would like to give an honorable mention and presentation to Darkness of Hyrule.
to achieve its effect, the very good way.